Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and we're outside the Ocho and 8plex that we bought a few months ago that also has 16 garages and some storage units. And yes, it's very snowy in Colorado right now, which is really nice to see because it's been very dry and we really need the snow. It's also very cold and a little bit windy right now, but we'll deal with it. Um, we're going to take a look at a unit that we just remodeled. This is one that went vacant, oh, about a month ago. And we did paint the cabinets on this one, so you can see what that looks like. We've had other videos of the Ocho where we didn't paint the cabinets, and we can kind of compare the two to see which ones you like best. We bought this building for 1.35 million, and every time we add a new tenant, when a tenant leaves, we can up the rent a little bit, and that increases the value, which is pretty cool. All right, so to show you that unit, of course, check out investormore.com for much more information on our flips rentals, be an agent, all that great stuff. And then um, we'll have a little bit more information too on some of the other tenants and what's going on here. So this is the property that had the car parking in the yard where I caught all kinds of flack for showing the tenants or may not have been the tenants, it's just people parked in the yard. Um, and then our Instagram account got disabled for a little while. I don't know if it's because of that or something else, but lots of other investors had their Instagram accounts disabled around that same time too. So it might have just been a bunch of people getting mad at landlords, which has been happening more and more recently. But the grass looks way better now. The snow does wonders for that. Um, and hopefully the moisture from the snow helps out as well. So here is the unit after our light remodel. We have not had it clean. And it looks pretty similar to the other units. We have the same cabinets and yet that's happening tomorrow. It of course took longer than we were hoping it would take, but it does look a lot better now, I think. So all the walls are painted the same colors, every other unit, just in case we need touch up. And then we did paint the cabinets and do the countertop on this unit, as you can see. So let us know what you think. We have that countertop paint, which our contractor hates because it takes like three different steps, have to wait for it to dry. Um, but the other countertop paint that we normally get has been out of stock. It's been really hard to get. So we're hoping we can get that again or try some other stuff that's a little easier to use. But it's just so hard to get supplies now. It's just been very frustrating. And I just read an article again today saying lumber prices are supposed to go up again. So that will cause our prices to go up, new home prices to go up. And if new home prices go up, that probably means housing prices will keep going up as well because I think that's really the main cause for when prices go up is the cost to build a new house, just like the cost to build cars, cost to get food, all of that goes up. The cost to buy those items goes up. Now, this one also has the very, very ugly windows with the seals broken. We ordered those too, <laughs> so they aren't here yet, but we can still rent the unit um, and come back and install the windows. Hopefully, I mean, or at least we'll have them if the people don't want us installing them, then we can install them when they move out. But we do have those in order. It's just, again, hard to find stuff right now. So I was kind of hoping we were over and through with all of that, but apparently not. In the bathroom, again, nothing fancy, nothing crazy, but painted the vanity, painted the vanity top, painted the little medicine cabinet, fixed the ceiling, it has some condensation and it was soft. Added the curtains for the little closet and then have the bathroom right here, which is pretty much the same in pretty decent shape. So this one will be ready to rent here very soon. Again, some of our contractors are faster than others. Um, this contractor we've been giving less and less stuff to because they've been slower and slower. And this is a really, really, really easy turn around paint a tiny bit of carpet that's been done for a while and that was it and it took weeks and weeks to do so would have loved to have this ready before the new year and hopefully have a tenant in here by now but obviously that did not happen and then here's this room as well again that cracked window we could just have the glass replaced and it will cost close as much to a brand new window and then you still have the old you know aluminum windows so that window is on order too so hopefully and get those in when they come in here. Maybe before a tenant moves in, maybe not. In this bathroom, the same thing. Really quick and easy paint and easy changes there. And then it's got the shower as well, exactly the same as the other one. 
All right, so that's the unit. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Our other ones we have rented for $12.50 a month, which includes a garage and a storage unit. So we'll try and go for that on this one again here too. Um, things have been renting fairly quickly and you know, I don't want to push that price too much more. I think that's about market, but it's, it's hard to find rentals, hard to find properties for sale. And it's starting to snow harder out there <laughs> um, right now. So uh, that seems to be a pretty fair price. And the rents were all from, I think 975 was our lowest to 1150 when we bought the place. So as we add new tenants, up those rents, then that ups the value of the property as well. And we went over a really in-depth video on the numbers on that a month or two ago that I'll try to remember to link to. And if you want to see that and I don't link to it, remind me, I will post a link in the comments or you can always just search the Ocho or Aplex and it should show up as well. All right, so that's the property. Um, I think it looks way better with the, the cabinets painted, really modernizes it. I mean, it still isn't like the Taj Mahal or anything or super fancy, but I think it really updates it quite a bit. Um, so we'll have more updates on this property, our other properties, the complex, flips, rentals, all that great stuff coming up soon. If you have not subscribed, please do. We love seeing new subscribers. Love it when you like our videos. Love it when you comment as well. So keep those coming and we'll be back with much more coming up here soon.